high whiskers and all its different benefits. Here I am with the red hibiscus plant. All of you all have seen this plant. You probably have it in your gardens or you know have grown it at some time or the other. Hibiscus is a very common Indian garden plant, also known as Hibiscus rosa sinensis. This hibiscus variety is red, but we also have native varieties that are white as well as the light pink version as well. Hibiscus has so many uses. The one most popular use is that we use it in, you know, for our puja. So if you have hibiscus growing in your garden, you would invariably pluck a few of these flowers and put it to adorn your gods on a regular basis. And it produces so many flowers. Just look at how many flowers this one plant has. And on a daily basis, hibiscus can produce so many, so many flowers. Hibiscus has so many different uses. Of course, the one that we all know is it is used as a hair conditioner. So the leaves are crushed and made into almost a soapy paste that is used as a lovely shampoo and conditioner for your hair. Hibiscus is also used for skin, you know, packs. You can take a few of these leaves and apply it on your skin and it really helps improve the quality of your skin or just the, you know, moistness and the healthiness of your skin. One super interesting fact about hibiscus is that it is also edible, right? So people use the leaves in dosa batter. So they ferment it for a bit with the normal dosa batter and it not only adds its medicinal values, it also gives a lovely delicious taste to dosa batter as well. Hibiscus being a native plant is very easy to take care of in the garden. Um, you need to water it. On a regular basis, you need to water it say once every day in summer and during the colder months or the rainy seasons, you would have to reduce the number of times that you water it. Maybe once in three days or so is more than enough. Hibiscus tends to get mealybug infestation, especially just before the rains. So if you are manuring your garden regularly, if you're giving it that dose of rich fertilizer once a month, then you should not have any problems of any mealybug or any other bug infestation. So just take care to loosen up the soil, give it that little bit of one handful of manure and you will see that these plants are healthy and they don't attract any pests. Hibiscus leaves tend to have cooling properties. So if you do have acne, you can put a paste of the hibiscus leaves on your face and it should help you reduce your acne. Hibiscus leaves like I said, can be made into a paste and um, you know, when you rub it on your scalp, you can see almost a soapy kind of texture that is being created when you put it on your scalp. So it also has slightly foaming properties as well. So if you want to go all natural, then you can just, you know, switch to hibiscus to take care of your hair and shikaka and Rita and other natural products. Visit our website urbanmali.com if you would like to buy these different native varieties of hibiscus.